Well, there's definitely, oh no. And there is definitely something in here. Dude, that looks like a legit police badge. Welcome to Exploring with the Nug. My name is Jeremy, and today we're diving underneath these two bridges. The reason we're diving underneath these two bridges today is because this one behind me was built in 1920, and they stopped using it for cars, and now it's just a walkway in 1981. This bridge that I'm under was built in 1981, and it's still used today for cars. So, so our thoughts are that over a hundred years, people could be throwing crap off these bridges, trash, treasures, guns, who knows what could be underneath these bridges. It could be amazing. One way or another, we're gonna find out really soon. What you doing over there, Britt? Getting my camera put together. Are you gonna make a video today? Yeah. Is it gonna be epic? Probably. Most shocking, epic discovery ever found ever under a bridge ever? Yeah, it sounds like Jeff's title. Dang. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <laughs> so We've never been here before. No, we haven't. It could be treacherous. Could be treacherous, could be um, not light filled. Dare I say your case. dangerous. <laughs> do I, do I even, for... do I even need to ask what you'd like to find today? Oh, I would love to find a gun oh my if gosh. I could. Um, any type of old items like bottles or anything like that would be cool too, but. Are you gonna pick up any um, trash along the way? Oh yeah, of course. Very good, very good. Cause that's the most important part. That is the most important part, yep. And here comes Silent Nick making an appearance. Subtle, beautiful, Nick. Oh my gosh, it is so hot today. The sun is beautiful. I'm hoping that helps because I forgot my dive light, so I'm not gonna be able to see anything unless the sun is out. So we'll see what happens. It could be a disaster. I think it's gonna be all right. Okay, we are all suited up. We got all our dive gear on. We got Britton over there with all of his cool full face mask. <laughs> I am using just a normal mask today. I got, I got, I'm, I'm going back to the original just because I didn't feel like putting on the full face mask. But we'll see what happens. We're gonna start, I'm thinking we're gonna start under here, work my way down to the sun. I'm pretty sure Britton's gonna start right here. We're gonna see what happens. Let's get under the water, make this day happen. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You found my dream pot. <laughs> I can't believe you found a hutch. It was right there, bro. Right there underneath the rock. I saw I saw the top of it. Dude, it's flawless. There's not a dang chip in it, dude. Oh my god, dude. I'm so it mad at it. There's the top in it too, look. <laughs> Royal Blossom Bottling Company, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Dude, that is like 1850s. That is that is nuts. That is something I am stealing from you. Pretty sure that's a sheath. Oh, look at the curve. And it's 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 hot. It's hollow. Yeah. That's that's cool. Wow. Gotta be. Oh gosh, so cool, yeah, well, there you go. What you get, gun? gun barrel. I don't know how old it is either. What'd you get? What is that? We had a token. Good for one pint. Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow, that's old. Oh, that's that's cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so uh, I think I think I found a bell. Uh, this is gonna be nuts. Let's go look at this thing. So you ever find something that's so big and beautiful you can't put it in your bag? I found a huge f***ing bell. No shit, I found a... Uh, Is that a, that's a bell? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it's a real one. Don't panic, little friend. We could be friends together. Give me a kiss. Mm, no, better not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I will let you go. Ready? Run, 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 run. Sure enough, I come out of the water. Britain's yelling. Ah! I'm falling over. I can't believe it. I'm standing right next to it. I don't believe, I don't believe it either. I think he's full of it. I think he's got buck fever. Oh yeah. It's probably like a rock. No, dude, it's a gun. Is it a shiny? It is a hundred percent a shiny blue gun. Here. I ain't holding nothing. I'm sick of your face. <laughs> I want to look first. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can get a glimpse of your gun. No chance. Hey, no way. Right there. Look. You see it? Hold on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's serial numbers and everything, man. Really? The 380. Oh my gosh, here. It's laying there a minute. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Wow! Dang, oh dude! Oh my God! Little 380 got the Kelly got serial numbers right there. That is so cool. It's got the serial numbers on it right there. Oh my goodness! So he just found a gun. <laughs> Flip phone. <laughs> Check it out. Brayden may be on a new thing here. Just Walk around in the water picking up stuff. Don't, yeah. don't even need to dive anymore. <laughs> Let's see what's inside this locked box that I found. Okay, so my plan here is I'm gonna crack open the box and I'm gonna sit it in that sideways. Then I'm gonna hose it out and hopefully if anything is in there, it'll fall in there and we won't lose anything. Simple as that. I got Fifi, Fifi the camera girl. Yeah. I think she's gonna help me out. Yeah. Okay, looks like it's cracked open already. So the, the hinges on the back actually came off. So it feels like it's still locked on the front. So I guess that'll work. Hmm. There we go. All right. Well, that's what's inside it right now. Mud. But who knows? Those are clams. Clam yeah, shells. clam shells. Let's get up there. Well, there's definitely. Oh no! Oh my goodness. What? Okay, let me see the camera here. I gotta show everybody this. What? Okay, check this out. I just tipped it over and it fell out, and there is definitely something in here. Dude, that looks like a legit police badge. Whoa! This could be something important. Uh, that's a police badge. Well, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yep. 
Okay, so we just got this box cleaned out. We got it all hosed off. And the only two things that were in the box are two military IDs. Like special agent IDs, like federal, like FBI or something. Let's get a closer look at these things and then see if we can find out the story behind them. Like who they belong to and are they still alive and why was they robbed and what's going on here? So many questions just came up. We gotta figure this out together. Okay, so here's a really close up look at the badge. It says Special Agent Office of Special Investigations, Department of the Air Force, 1991. Nuts. That was his official badge. This was his credentials. Got a little mini badge on it. And on the inside was all the credentials. Here was what was inside the credentials. Now, obviously, I'm going to blur out all the important stuff because this is some serious credentials. This was probably a federal agent, a special agent, and I don't want to give away any of his information. So, obviously, I'll blur out his name and his face and any other things that are important here. But how cool is that? Now, I'm going to go online and I'm going to see if I can do some research and find out who this guy is and how I can get these credentials back to him. Hey, this is Jeremy. Um, I was supposed to come by and drop off some uh, badges that I found to you. Yes, are you here? Yeah, I'm right up front in the front door. Okay, awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll come out and get it. Thanks. All right, see you soon. How you doing? Right next to that box, I already turned it into the police department, but I found a 357 pistol. 380. Uh, right. there are three, yeah, 380 yeah, 380 pistol. And it was silver. And I didn't know if that had anything to do with the gun, too, or not. Yeah. So this is just a property sheet. This just tells me that I received it from y'all. Okay. And it's just a, just a chain of evidence. Right. Um, here's that. And so, credentials here? Yeah, they're on the other side. Well, somewhere in there. There's his, uh, his ID and stuff. And this was the box that was found in, so I figured I'd bring it along to him. Yeah. All right, if you can sign right there by the X, it's just showing that you released the badges in the box to me. Okay. All right, guys, we appreciate y'all's help. Yes, thank you. We were going to give this back to the rightful owner and see what we can find. Awesome. Did you get any details? I remember somebody on the phone told me that it was a, um, his house was broken into and somebody yeah. stole it. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know much about the case. The mm. detective that was, it was passed on to him, he's on vacation right now. So yeah. he just asked me to do a favor and receive the property. Okay. So I can't really give y'all much of a story. No, I completely I'm understand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank y'all for your help. I really appreciate it. So you don't mind shaking my hand? or No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, thank y'all so it. much. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a uh, safe trip going back down, okay? Okay. we Will do. Well. All right. Thank you, man. Thank y'all. Thank have you. Have a good one. You as well. Well, that was easy. He didn't want us to film, but you know, we told him we're not going to do anything bad. We're not going to put any personal information on online. Heck, most of the information was mine anyways, so it's all good. But uh, we got to turn back in. That's pretty cool. So until we meet again, my name is Jeremy, and I'll see you on the next dive. Bye.